In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how easy and fast it is to configure the Inepro card reader in a Ricoh multifunctional device. Everything can be done remotely in multiple devices in your network. And it doesn't matter whether you're using PaperCut MF, Streamline, Equitrack or any other authentication software on the device. So let's see now, when I place my card on the reader, I place the card on the reader which is building, you hear it beeping, but nothing happens. The software doesn't react, that's because the reader is not configured. Let's configure the reader. You come with me? Okay, so I have opened my server uh, to configure the Inepro card reader on the Rico device. For that, Inepro created a special tool only for Rico, the Remote Embedded Deployer. When I open the tool, first it will ask me for the server address. In this case, it's not really important, but I just give in my IP address. In this screen, you have some options here, file, device, settings, um, you don't need to use it at this stage. What is important is to add devices to the screen. Um, there's a possibility just to add one IP address manually. You can scan, then it will scan the network for devices or you select a list. A list can be a text document or a CSV file, but just a list with IP addresses. When I open this list, it will show me a few IP addresses, but it can be many. As much devices you have in your network, you can put in here. If it's one, 10, 100, 200, or 1000, they can all be configured at once with a few mouse clicks. Um, I will select this list for now. I only have one device connected in my network, so it will appear here on the screen, the model and the status. It's the MPC 307 and it says idle. The others will get an error because there is no device connected in the network, no other devices. So I will remove the other devices, but it's just to show how easy it is to install, configure multiple devices at once. So I have this device here, and besides the fact that I want to configure the card reader, which I can do here is easily with set card reader settings, that would all we need to do to configure the device, but also for the future I want to be able to update the card reader with new firmware or a new configuration. For that we need an embedded application, which is the Inepro Reader plugin. When I open that, it says here the Inepro Reader plugin, the version, and all I need to do now is say deploy. I will fast forward this video, but if, for example, if you have the multiple devices in your network, it will do it all at once. So in a few minutes, you will have all the devices configured. The deployment of the Inepro Reader plugin is successful. So now, in one click, the, the Inepro Reader plugin is there and the card reader is configured. So let me see now what happens when I place a card on the reader. So you've seen that now PaperCut does see the card, but the reader is not correctly configured because it is an unknown user. PaperCut requests to link the card to an account. So that means that we have to update the reader with the correct configuration. Now, since we pushed the Inepro Reader plugin to the device, the device is now enabled to receive updates for the card reader. So let me show you how to do that. Um, I don't need to save this list. Um, for that, we go to the remote manager, the SCR708 remote manager. When I open this tool, it will show you my device and it says get reader information. Here you see that the reader is operational, what the configuration is, the firmware, and it's connected correctly. So now I want to update my configuration. So I say browse and I select the third party config, no, generic. It is the generic that I need. So this is selected and also in this tool you can have multiple devices here and also here with add I can import, I can scan, I can add IP addresses manually. All the devices in your network can be updated at once. So now I will say start and 
it starts updating my card reader through the device on the network. So the configuration is uploaded, updating the configuration, and now it's retrieving the new status of the reader, and you see that's all. The reader is now updated and it will accept my card. You see the new configuration, generic V1. Let's see again on the machine if I can log in to my account on PaperCard MF.